Um, so next is from Donald Big Wide X Ray. We'll love you. We'll, we'll, we we from Donald Donald Big Wide X Ray. Will you love me, hot legs? The subject is CM. The subject is CM Punk is Kanye West. Kanye and Disco, I'm sorry for your loss to Scott Hall. He's a legend. You guys did some incredible work together. You guys are the greatest era of all time. I got to ask you guys about CM Punk. The guy simply cannot keep WWE out of his mouth. What doesn't help is that Tony Khan is always there besides him with a drugged up looking smug face on, on his giggling like a chick. It's basically the fact that CM Punk is Kanye West and the WWE is Pete Davidson and Kim Kardashian. It's embarrassing, man. He says WWE is weird fans, despite AEW fans crying during entrances, the majority of them being legally special needs. He even bitched about the WWE Network, which he called confusing, when in fact it was the most basic streaming service I've ever seen, which is why it sucks so much that WWE moved it to Peacock. Also, CM Punk said this in 2019, and I think AEW needs to focus on themselves and stop talking about WWE. Just, it just, I think it just lessens and cheapens what they're doing when they constantly attack WWE. There hasn't been an alternative to WWE in so very, very long, and I think they do a disservice to themselves when they're trying to be the alternate, the alternative, but constantly bringing up the WWE. And personally, I think the CM Punk looks miserable. I think he hates his AEW run. His ego can't handle it. It's not worked out. Conan Disco, what do you think about this and the overall general backlash towards Punk? I don't, I don't think there's been... Well, I think the overall general backlash against Punk was the fact that it didn't draw as much as he could have if he would have been, like, you know, coming hot. You know, I, I, think, I think that's the only thing that's really you know, been detrimental to his run there is the fact that it just took so long to, to, to get where they were going. You know, it just, it just got boring after a while. And I don't think, I don't think the interest has picked up considerably since the time they brought him in and the numbers kind of show that Do you agree. Yeah. I don't think that I haven't really seen a backlash. I mean, but I right. will say this, I think that, you know, you, when you hear him talking bad about WWE, he left her under terrible terms. You know, he hated Hunter. Hunter did not like him. I think they did stuff to maybe sabotage him. They fired, so he, 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 he got the, the firing notice on his wedding day. Remember that's something that he always brings up. They fired. You know, that him. could have been a coincidence, bro, yeah. but either way, um, who, who gives a f- when you get it? You're yeah. fired. Yeah. And so they got to be nice about it. Let's wait till the day after his wedding. <laughs> that to me, that's snowflake. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. But um, uh, I, I don't listen to that and go, oh, poor guy. Um, maybe if he was hurt and they caught him while he was hurt, I'd be like, that's kind of f-ed up. But anyways, I just think that when you get there, there's all these people that were WWE that were mistreated. I, I told this story before. I was at a table. With Dean Malenko, Mark Henry, Taz, Arn Anderson, and that might have been Big Show. Bro, they just tore up WWE the whole time. Like, I was like, wow. And, you know, they'd already been out for a couple months, you know, some longer than others. You know, a lot of guys left that place really mad. You know, that was probably another example of don't make waves while you're there because this is a good thing. You don't know when you're going to get that payday. You know, when you're out on the indies, it's tough if you don't have a if you don't have a, a big name and most big names get signed up. That's a grind, you know, especially if you're an older guy, you don't really have a lot of indie work. You know what I'm saying? So they're just like, it. take your money. Don't say. And then when they were there, they buried the out of that place. And I think all these guys that left WWE that weren't treated right or used the right way, they all kind of maybe bond together they're like wwe and plus they're also pit, pit. you've got to think they're also playing to their fan base you know their fan bases are a lot of them ex wwe fans who left mad also because they were given what they wanted so they also probably cater to them so that's what i think about that 